How do you quilt to the nines? Well, we have some great tips we're gonna share with you. Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. And today we are talking about one of the wonderful building blocks of quilting. You know, when I first learned to quilt, I just really, really, really wanted to learn how to quilt. And Fran gave me the reason why I had to make one when she said, Mom, I'm going to have a baby. And I was like, my first grandbaby. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm only 39, but that was 35 years ago. <laughs> She's doing great, isn't she? <laughs> I, look pretty, I, I, I look pretty ragged. No. <laughs> okay, but what was really neat was whenever I designed, well, and I designed my first quilt too, yes. because I didn't have a pattern or anything, but I had seen nine patches and I thought, I feel I think I can figure that out. Mm -hmm. So I made a nine patch. And you know, since then I've designed so many patterns with the nine patch because they're kind of like a beginner block or a great building block when you're putting your quilts together. I absolutely agree with you. One of my favorites too, and definitely I think one of the loves of all quilters. So let's talk about nine patch and look at a quilt. All right, oh. let's go. So our first quilt that we're sharing is nine plus one. And as you can see, we have the great nine patch here put together and then a nice just plain joining block so you can put a good focus fabric there. So let's put this on the table and talk more about that nine patch. So we have um, just a, a few tips before we get into the kit. So nine patches, when you do a three yard quilt pattern are usually made with the strip piecing method, which makes it very, very, very fast. Once we get our strip pieces done and we cut our units, we then need to put them together. So I feel like one of the best things is learning how to pin those corners when you're just starting out, because I think the nine patch needs to be nice and crisp. Mm -hmm. So, and if you're off just a little bit, sometimes that can make a difference. So I've got some samples here that I would just want to show. I have two different, I'm gonna scoot this one up here and we are gonna talk about this first. So now in this whole quilting realm, I know that we have two camps mm -hmm. and both are fabulous. Mm -hmm. One camp is pressing your seams to the dark and the other is pressing seams open. So I've got two samples here showing both ways. What I'm gonna be showing you is how to pin those seams together. Because regardless of how you press your seams, I think that pinning will make sure that those seams are perfect. And there's actually a trick to pinning. So let me just kind of show you. Starting with pressing to the dark. Now I'm gonna turn this over. Here's our units from our strip assembly. We have this one that is pressed to the dark. You can see that here. And then we have our other unit here that is also pressed to the dark. Mm -hmm. So when we do this, I'm gonna turn this back over. We're gonna line this up now. Let me just turn it a little bit. And when you press to the dark, you see that that kind of nest just a little bit and you can kind of push them together so that they're kind of nesting, which is part of the reason why people that press to the dark, press to the dark is because mm -hmm. it gives you that little little bit there. Now, even if you do that, to make sure that that doesn't shift, we're gonna pin it. And whenever I do that, I want to stick my pin in the stitch line. And I just guess this about a quarter inch, because I think it's important that we put it in at that quarter inch mark. You mean quarter inch from here to there? From the raw edge, thank yes. you. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna just kind of stick it straight down. And when we do that, it should come out on the seam line on the other side and it did not. So let me just kind of do that again. So approximately a quarter inch. Let's of course I'm doing it on camera. If I was doing this in my sewing room, it would happen perfect the first <laughs> time. <laughs> so then we're gonna go back into the stitch line and I hope that you can see this and then on the stitch line on the front. Okay, so let me make sure that this is nice and flat. Now, what this is, is it's sticking in a quarter inch from the edge through the stitch line on this piece, through the stitch line on that piece at both parts, and then back up through the stitch line on this side. That and makes it really nice because as you're sewing, then you're able to, it's, it's sort of 
anchors these pieces together. Right, and mm -hmm. that's how I ensure that the nine patches, those corners meet really well. Because you want a lot of contrast, that's gonna really make it look crisp. So real quick, let's do the pressing the seams open. It's the same principle. We have press seams open on both sides. Once again, we're gonna line those up. And you know, I realize that you and I are, are kind of rebels in this. Sometimes I press my seams open, sometimes I press them closed. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to matching up seams, it seems to me mm -hmm. uh, that it's easier when they're Open. Pressed open. Yes, I kind of think so too, and I feel like I can manipulate them better. So here we've got it, uh, the pin sticking in about a quarter inch from the raw edge through the seam on both parts. I'm going to flip this over, and it's through the seam on the back side as well. So now make sure you don't run over those pins with your sewing machine. Right. Because it will break a needle. And you know, even if you just nick the pin, mm -hmm. it actually will cause a burr on your needle and sometimes your threads will start breaking. So that's one, another reason you always oh, want yeah. to pull that pin out before you go over right. the seam. Right, so, but these will hold your fabrics in place and give you those perf perfect joinings every time. Awesome. Okay, great stuff there. So let's look at our quilt and our quilt kit. So we have some darling fabric here, airplanes. Love Cute. airplanes, I never forget Blake, her first <laughs> yes. quilt, my, my son, her grandson, loved airplanes. And I remember the first time he went on a flight, he was so excited because he got to go in a bus and a train and a plane and all of the things. Because, you know, in the airport, you go from the <laughs> rental car and you take a bus. And then you get in the airport and you take a train. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he loved planes for that reason because he got to do it all. <laughs> so our planes go in the focus fabric, which is everywhere you see the cupcakes and the treats here. And then our number two fabric is this great yellow. It's kind of that kind of warm, creamy yellow that picks up all the planes here. That is going to go everywhere the white is. And then our fun red that looks like the wind and picks up the red in the focus fabric is going to go everywhere the pink is. So I think this is I think that's going to great. I love the red and the yellow because yes. it really does pick up the reds and yellows in the the plane. It does. So the kit information on this one is 8023070. It is a flying ace and the pattern is 9 plus 1 from the Quilts for Kids book. Well, I have one that looks will look really good in this same pattern and this one are the the fresh as a daisy. I oh, mean, they're just so fresh. This and is. I love the daisies and they're going to go in your large block mm -hmm. the same way. And here again, you can see the contrast between these two fabrics so that your number two will go here and your number three will go here. And if you're familiar with our patterns, you know that we do have the focus, the light, and the dark. And we write every one of our patterns that way so it's really easy for you to select your fabrics to make your quilts. Yes, I love it, absolutely love and it. And we do have a image on the screen, so if you'll take a look at that, you can see how cute this is going to be. Oh, it's, it's so fresh, you're right. It is, and you know, this would even be a cute one to hang in your kitchen if you wanted oh, to. Oh yeah, fun. And this one is called Daisy Dots, 8022405. Nine plus one is the pattern, and it's from the book quilts for kids. So our next quilt is the nine patch and what we've done here is we've actually put two nine patch blocks together but we've alternated the colors so that you've got this great movement and pattern on the quilt service. Let's check out some fabric. Love these pumpkins. Oh. Those are so cute. Isn't it so cute? Now I want to just kind of mention on the nine patch because in this case especially the blocks are a little bit smaller. These smaller prints like this mm -hmm. work so well in the nine patch and so cute. I think it has that kind of old fashioned cozy feel, which we really love. Yes. So. Well, you know, originally qu most quilts were made with scraps. Yes. I mean, we didn't go out and buy yardage the same way we do today. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so you wanted to cut everything up in smaller pieces and that's one of the reasons we call it patchwork. Yeah, oh yes, <laughs> that's right. That is so interesting. Well, love these pumpkins. And this is gonna be our focus fabric and it's gonna go in both blocks. Our first block here with a little nine patch here and then our second with the number two fabric. 
And I love this number two fabric. It kind of looks like like burlap maybe. Is that what you would say? It's got lots yeah. of texture to it. It's very cool. So it almost looks like feed sack or something. So I think it's really <laughs> fun. Very fitting. <laughs> yes, very fitting. And that is in our number two position. And then these fun sunflowers. Once again, a little bit smaller print, which is perfect for the nine patch. And it is gonna go on the border and then with our pumpkins here in this block. I really like the way that this pattern actually causes the number one or the focus fabric to be in every single block. I like that, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a real plus for that pattern. Okay, let's look at the kit information on this. This is called a Wooly Autumn. The kit number is 8022507. The pattern is Nine Patch from Quilt Favorites. Now the next one is called Evergreen. And uh, this is one of Fran's designs that she did that has been so popular. And it's a great big um, nine patch that we've used on that with the tree. And let's put that on the table. And let's talk a little bit more about contrast. With the nine patch, if you get them in both the same intensity, then they don't show up the same. So whenever you're working with your uh, fabrics and you're picking out what you're going to use, mm -hmm. it's very important to remember that in order to see the design of the, um, nine, the patch. nine patch, then you want that contrast. Yes. Now we have two different blocks here that we're, we're showing. One of them is a very high contrast mm -hmm. and one that's a little more subtle and you still see a, a contrast here, right. but this one really makes the nine patch pop. Yes, and I love that mm -hmm. tip because that nine patch is just that homey feel that we're going for and it's such, it's, such a great classic pattern. Mm -hmm. and, and you want to see it. You do. <laughs> so this is a great way to really uh, alternate your blocks. And so the first one that we looked at was just a plain block and a nine patch. Mm -hmm. And then we did nine patch, nine patch. Right. And this one, we're taking it a little step further and doing a little fancier block that we can put it together. Oh, well, let's look it. at the fabric on this I'll one. Take that. And this is a new fabric that we have to show you that is just oh, fun. This is pretty. Don't you love that <gasps> pop of pink in this? Yes. I really like that. So it's a very interesting fabric. And this is going to actually be our tree. So rather than a Christmas tree, oh. we have a spring tree. I love <laughs> it. Great idea. I really like it too. So that's going to be here in this block. And then your number two and three will make the high contrast nine patch there. I very, really like very that. And look cute. at these two together. Isn't that oh, fun? It really causes that to pink out. bring that pink out of that. Wow. All right. This one is called Garden Gems. It's 8023071. Oh. It's evergreen from Make It Christmas. The alternate pattern is the nine plus one, which you saw in the first go round. Our next quilt is called Woven. Now, Woven is from our Fat Quarter Fun book. And what's really cool about this is we've used the nine patch here as a joining block. So we have just a nice big block here and then a rail fence and our nine patch. So it's a great joining block. So let's put this on the table and look at the fabrics. So this is from our book, Fat Quarter Quilting Fun. And it is really a great book. Now, I understand that we have a second Fat Quarter book we now, do. which is great. So <laughs> we both get to have one. <laughs> I just love it. So be sure and check this out. And the woven pattern is, like I said, perfect because it uses that nine patch as the joining block. And of course, in both books, we step through all of the great diagrams on how to cut your Fat Quarters, how to put it together, all that stuff. And you know what's really cool is that we have videos on each of these books oh, yes. that you can see on YouTube. So you'll want to check that out as well because we show all of the quilts from the book uh -huh. and give you some tips on how to put them together. That's great. So thank you. So let's look at these fat quarters. So we have 12 fat quarters mm -hmm. and on our fat quarters, we divvy them up into a light, medium, dark, and often we include a focus on that as well. So these fat quarters are beautiful batiks, love all these colors together. So our focus fat quarters will be these three and they're just so yummy and pretty. This focus fat quarter is gonna go in the big block here. And then we have our light, our medium and our dark. 
Now, as we were saying, you need lots of contrast, and this is no exception to pick up the great pattern in mm -hmm. this, how this is made. So our nine patch is made with our light fabrics here, and then our rail fence, it's a connector, it's also a light fabric. And then we have our mediums, and aren't, these are just all so gorgeous. I'm just gonna pull these out a little bit so you can just see all these great, great colors we have in this fat quarter kit here. And they are just so yummy. Now these mediums are gonna be our alternate pieces on our nine patch, as well as some of our rail fence blocks. And then we have one dark that is brought in for the binding. That's neat. So this is gonna make up just gorgeous. I love all of these batiks. They are just so yummy. Now this um, batik kit is Batik Jewels. It's 8023039. And we were using the woven pattern from the Fat Quarter Quilting Fun Book. And our alternate pattern is Fat Quarter Four Patch. Well, next we have best friends. And you know, we all have those best friends that we like to do special things for, so this would be a great one for that. And what we've done is we have taken the nine patch to a little bit higher level. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You may not even be able to see the nine patch in this one. So if you'll hand oh, me yes. the cropping tool, we'll Absolutely. talk about that. So the uh, Friendship Star quilt block is right here and it's actually made like a nine patch okay. where you have the three blocks so let's look take a look at that so here's a block here's a half square triangle block okay. and then here's the next mm -hmm. block so when you put those three blocks together you're going to end up with this look okay I the centerpiece is the same thing but we're alternating our colors and our um, half square triangle. Mm -hmm. Now, before we've been showing you the super fast, easy way to make a nine patch with strip piecing. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit more, but you know, for your best friend, anything <laughs> is worth it. So uh, this one is made exactly like this one, only it's rotated. Right. And as we mentioned earlier, you did, the nine patch is a building block block, mm -hmm. <laughs> right. building block block. Um, and so you can mix it up like that and you begin to recognize it whenever you're seeing these quilts mm -hmm. like this. So this is a great example of taking the nine patch to a new level. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, so let's look at this fabric because it is very pretty. Oh, yes. It's a very calming quilt, isn't it? It is. It's got peaceful, I mean, you, I think about pastures and uh, the beautiful flowers, yes. so it's really pretty. Now we took our focus fabric and we used it in the center of the nine patch and we also used it over here in the four patch. Now the four patch is strip pieced, uh -huh. so it goes together really fast. Yeah. So it'll still speed up. This is a great quilt to make. It's not that hard at all. Then you're going to take your number two fabric and that is going to be in these little points mm -hmm. on the stars. And look how good that looks together. It really does. And then the number three fabric is the background. Love it. That's so, a fun dot too. Oh, it I is. I love that isn't open it? dot. And I love how the fabrics two and three pick up the colors so perfectly. Oh, in yes. This, Let's in this look at one. that again. So see the green and the blue yeah. together. It's, it's so, so pretty. crisp. Mm -hmm. And blue it. and green are just so perfect together. Yeah, that's kind of us, blue and green, you know. You want to be blue or do you want to be green? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be green. Okay, I'll be blue. <laughs> We're perfect together. <laughs> this one is called N Nantucket Summer, 8022574. Best Friends is the pattern from the book Easy Does It, and the alternate pattern is Friendship Star. Now, I love that we showed all these quilts with a nine patch because at Fabric Cafe, it's one of our favorite blocks. We use it over and over again in so many different ways. And you know, it was my first block, and as you can see, I still use the nine patch a lot. What do you do with your nine patch blocks? Have you ever made one? Was it your first block? Give us some feedback in the comments below. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. It's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson. Mm -hmm.